I don't like uh, what's happening in the state of Georgia. Uh, 50,000 voters have been purged off the rolls. Here we go. They're at it again. And uh, they got a particularly loathsome trick this time. Uh, uh, CNN is reporting the story. Uh, a letter was sent to, for example, college senior Kyla Berry saying, oh, you are not allowed to vote because you are not a citizen. She's like, what are you talking about? I'm born in Boston. I'm going to school in Georgia. Of course I'm a citizen. And they're like, oh, yeah, prove it. So she has to go through the extraordinary steps of going in and proving that she's a citizen in order to be able to reacquire her right to vote. And I said right to vote, right? But the right to vote apparently not uh, quite what we perceive it to be in the state of Georgia. Now, this is illegal for a number of reasons. Now, let's understand what a purge is, okay? A purge sounds bad, but it doesn't have to be bad. Purging of the rolls happens all the time because you've got to get the voter rolls updated. Uh, so if people have passed away, you've got to get their name off the list. Or if they've moved away to a different state, you take their names off the list. That's totally fine. But there's a very clear and understandable rule that you cannot do this 90 days before an election. Because if you do, you don't give people enough time to respond. To say, hey, you know what? The rumors of my demise have been greatly exaggerated. I am actually quite alive. And I'm still in the state, among other things. And the reason people want to do it 90 days before an election or even uh, later as close to the election as they possibly can, is to get rid of as many voters on the other side as they possibly can without enough time to object. Okay, And shockingly enough, the Republicans have chosen that strategy in Georgia. I didn't see that coming. The second part of this is voter intimidation. T sending out letters to people saying, you're not a United States citizen, prove it. Right? And even people who are citizens, maybe they became citizens recently, maybe that scares them. Or maybe it doesn't scare them at all, but they just think, oh, God, that is such a pain in the ass. How am I going to social security card? By the way, when's the last time you saw your social security card? For most people, I'm not sure they've ever seen a social security card, let alone uh, they know where it is and the last time they saw it. And then you got to go bring it in, etc. See, their point isn't to eliminate every single one of those 50,000 voters. Their point is, hey, you know what? We do this. We set up this system. We will intimidate, harass, and annoy enough people that maybe we lose 10,000, 20, 30, 40,000 of those people and they don't come to vote. And if we do it in areas where we think there are more Democrats, like college campuses, or in other areas, urban areas, etc., then uh, we suppress the black vote and the minority vote and the poor vote and the college vote and the young vote, and uh, we get more Republicans elected. You think it might matter in, for example, uh, the Senate race in Georgia where Saxby Chambliss, the Republican, is up by only two points in the last poll, last several polls that I've seen? Of course it might matter. He's under 50%. If you're under 50% as an incumbent, you normally lose. Now, if you get rid of, you know, anywhere from 10 to 40,000 Democratic voters, then you got a hell of a lot better chance, don't you? And now, just because they're on a college campus or an urban area, doesn't mean they're all going to vote Democratic. But the chances are higher that they would. So the more you could rig the system in your favor, the better off the Republicans are. And uh, there's a couple other problems here, also illegal in this case because it does not meet with the Justice Department guidelines. They're supposed to check with the Justice Department and say, hey, listen, we're purging our roles here, and do you approve of this? They didn't even bother checking, of course, because they don't want approval. They want to do it right before the election to knock out as many Democratic voters as possible. They couldn't even get approval from this Justice Department, from Bush's Justice Department. So get a sense of how crooked this system is. And then, uh, you know, finally the idea is, you know, we send out enough letters out there saying you're not a citizen. We might also suppress the Hispanic vote to boot, you know. Just get people scared a little bit. Hey, are you sure you're not sure? Uh, you recently became a citizen, whatever it is. If you don't have your papers in order, don't bother to vote. Because, you know, we've lost the Hispanic vote as well. So the more uh, we suppress that vote, the better off the Republicans are. I mean, this is dirty in 88 different ways. Now, are we going to be able to fix this in time for the Georgia election? Uh, so that we can get all 50,000 of those people back on uh, if they have been incorrectly purged? I don't know, man. We've got to give it our best shot, and that's part of the reason that uh, Obama and your local officials, whether they're Democratic or Republican, need more volunteers and need more help. And I'm glad at least we got to catch this a little bit before the election. That'll help incrementally. But will we have lost possibly tens of thousands of votes uh, come uh, election night on November 4th in Georgia? Absolutely. Absolutely. This is why this has got to get fixed ahead of time.